Okay, g'day. It's uh, the middle of the day on day day five of, uh, of fermentation, and one of the big things that I've been looking at doing today is trying to optimise the the tannin uh, in the in the wine. So there's there's different components of the grape. There's the seeds, the skin, the stalks, and I've already shown you some tea bags that I, I use my mega stalk tea bags that I use to allow me to infuse some of the spice characters from the stalks in the wine and then allow me to extract uh, or remove those 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 stalks before the fermentation is finished and that allows me to stop any sort of sappy hard characters from the stalks coming out through alcohol extraction late in ferment but the seeds are another thing that are, are quite hard to sort of manage the reason being that obviously they're in the middle of the grape to begin with and then as the ferment progresses they start to fall out and they fall out and they go to the bottom of the, the fermenter. Sometimes the tannins in those, those seeds are a little bit too green, a little bit too hard. Um, it's something that I'm a little bit worried about with this wine. So I thought today what I'd try and do is remove some of those, those seeds. And, and, to, and to do that I had to get to the bottom of the vat. In high-tech wineries, sometimes they've got a tank and it's got like a sweep arm that goes around the bottom of the tank and it, and it shuffles the seeds into a, a sump that they can then seal off internally and then open up to the outside and get the seeds out. Um, you know, I'm in a garage with a big plastic bucket effectively for my grape, uh, grapes to ferment in. So I, I had to go a bit ghetto style. So, so what I did was effectively use a a big chopping board, I took it and plunged it into the vat, I used it to scrape along the bottom of the vat and collect all the seeds in one spot and I just scooped them out with a small container, poured them over this uh, baking uh, rack, cooling rack and then just allowed the seeds to fall through and keep the skins and the whole grape berries on top. Um, what I ended up with was this bucket of predominantly seeds here and um, and that that allowed me to get rid of most of most of those those seeds and just a you know I lost a few few grape skins but I'd rather get rid of you know what in the end is what about 10 kilos of seeds um, from my ferment and uh, some of them like I it's hard to see from here but from from there I'm sure but that's that's quite a green seed so someone's Picked a second secondary bunch, uh, a bunch that was uh, was uh, was fertilised late in the in the process after the primary flowering, uh, and they still are a little bit unripe and have some green seed. But um, great to get those out at the moment. So a big day of uh, of controlling uh, tannin. Um, the ferment's at its peak. It's, uh, it's now heading down to around about 6 BOME, so it's about halfway through. It's getting a bit warmer, it's about 26 degrees. So I've been spending a lot of time, just, just with my hands, just mixing the skins into the, uh, into the, into the wine gently to uh, get good uh, colour and tannin extraction and flavour extraction from, uh, from the skins. And uh, you know, we're going to continue down this path of, of optimising what we, we, we do. So probably Tomorrow I'll pull out my stalk tea bags, and uh, then we'll work on different uh, different techniques around maceration and barrel fermentation, things like that. And I'll explain a bit more about that when we get to it. So, yep, today all about these bad boys. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of seeds. Cheers.